like to talk just a little bit about your benzodiazepines. Um, what we're talking about in these, number one, these really are um, contraindicated for use for long term in the elderly for sure. Um, it, we want to use them as sparingly as possible. Um, these, your, the short acting benzodiazepines you're going to see some of. These um, drugs, uh, we like to call them anti-anxiety, and they're your Xanax and Ativan type thing, Alprazolam, right? Um, these drugs are very short, uh, they have a short half-life. You're going to see those more than you would see a long acting benzodiazepine, such as your Valium. Valium has a long half-life and while that might seem like a good idea why wouldn't you want something that lasts longer well because of the accumulation um, the the effect might wear off and so they may start having anxiety again or something um, before the liver can actually get rid of biotransform and get rid of the drug so then they take another um, medication dose and pretty soon they have that accumulation and which can be pretty dangerous in the elderly which is why when the question comes up of why are long-acting benzodiazepines not recommended for long-term care use the reason is their long half-life